Hello everyone. After having played over a week since the big patch, trying and reading about a lot of the current meta builds, I'll be reassessing the classes and rating how they stack up against each other during various in-game activities. This is going to be based on solo gameplay and slightly end-game weighted. Stick around to the end for the full rating chart. Firstly here we have a quick overview on the rating criteria just for referencing. It's fairly straightforward and I'll be giving a rating out of 10 for each category, with 10 being the best rating and 1 being the worst. So let's get into it. At the top of the seasonal mountain we have the Rogue. They still have great single target and AoE damage, good survivability, insane mobility, and they excel in all areas of the game, whether it's speed clearing, pushing, leveling or fighting Uber Lilith, even without relying on the overprocking bursting venoms, you'll be just fine with the Rogue. They're also insanely fun to play, and have a wide variety of builds for leveling and for endgame as well, so you're not boxed into any one singular playstyle. The only downside I would say with the Rogue is they are definitely more mechanically difficult to play as some of the other classes, but it feels extremely rewarding to pull off and you'll have a great time doing it. As for the meta builds in Season 1 for leveling, you have Twisting Blades, Barrage and Flurry. And for the endgame builds, you've got Twisting Blades and Barrage once more, but also a variant of Twisting Blades incorporating Death Trap. As for other options, there are Penetrating Shop builds and Rapid Fire builds that work as well. I just wouldn't rate them as highly as the Twisting Blades or Barrage builds. So next up on the list, I rate the Druid as rank number 2. But it's almost like 1A and 1B for me with the Rogue. Druids are still of course a powerhouse in the endgame, taking out the highest tier nightmare dungeons without much issue, even without bugged builds. They smash the overworld activities like Helltides and speed clear insanely quickly with Shred, and although their main build for Lilith will probably be getting looked at at some point by Blizzard, they'll still have not too bad of a time with her after that. They have an even better leveling experience than before, but they also boast high survivability and endgame speed, whilst having the advantage of a relatively easy learning curve and simple to master playstyle. The Season 1 meta builds for leveling include Pulverize, Tornado, and the new Poison Creeper Landslide build. For endgame, you have the Lightning Storm build, Tornado Wolf build, and the Lightning Shred build to go with. By the way, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe, it really helps. Next up on the list, number 3, the Necromancer. But not by as wide of a margin as before. They can still do insane damage with Bone Spear, easily boning through higher tier dungeons, although you are quite squishy so you do have to be on your toes when doing so. They can also pump out great damage toward Uber Lilith, and they have no problem clearing lower tier dungeons and overworld, but of course, they are hindered in this greatly, clear speed wise, by their mobility. As for their build variety, they don't have as much of it as the Rogue or the Druid, but playstyle wise, the Necro is quite easy to grasp, and you'll definitely have a very chill time playing this class, standing back and casting Bone Spears, or whether it's summoning an army of minions, or also just casting Corpse Explosion on all the dead bodies around you. For Season 1, the meta builds for leveling up are Bone Spear, as well as Blight with Corpse Explosion or a summoning build if you want to be really really chill. For endgame of course, there's Bone Spear, and another option to look at would be the Infinimist build. Next up after the Necro, coming in at rank 4, quite closely behind the Necro I would have to say, is the Barbarian. After some dark times, the Barb is doing not as badly as I suspected, even though the vulnerable and cooldown reduction nerfs in particular hit quite hard, it's not so bad. You won't clear as fast as the Rogue or the Druid, but the Hammer of the Ancients and Whirlwind builds are doing okay after the Nightmare Dungeon nerfs. You do feel the armor reduction though quite a bit. As for variety in the builds, there isn't too much of it yet. And for leveling, it's still a bit of a slow go at it, but once you get a few of your key aspects, particularly for resource generation, it picks up quite a bit. Speed clearing is fine as you can still rip through the lower tier Nightmare Dungeons and Helltides with relative ease to gather all that loot, but on the other end of the spectrum, Lilith is still a bit of an issue for them. As for ease of play, Barbarians are definitely not too difficult, and they're also pretty forgiving with the amount of unstoppable and move speed you have to work with, especially getting into the higher levels, and as well as having the general tankiness built in from just the way you build in general. 
There'll be some changes upcoming eventually, as the Blizzard developers did say they would be addressing Barbarian and Source in their next fireside chat, and are attempting to try and bring them up to be more along the lines with the other classes, so that's a positive step for the Barbarian and the Source. Season 1 meta builds for leveling include the go-to leveling build Rend, as well as Hammer of the Ancients. With some good aspects, Whirlwind also becomes viable. For endgame though, Hammer of the Ancients and Whirlwind still are the ways to go. Lastly, the Sorcerer. Getting a demotion from the previous iteration of my ratings as the CDR nerf actually hit them a lot harder than I thought. The Sorcerer just doesn't really seem to be holding up. Outside of staggering Lilith for big damage, they're not really wowing anyone, as overall their nightmare dungeon pushing doesn't seem too great to me, and their speed farming, while fast, is not quite up there with the Druid or the Rogue. They do get some nice mobility with teleport to help blast through the lower tier nightmare dungeons and overworld content, but yeah, as I said, just not as fast as the higher ranked classes. As for leveling though, they do fly through the lower levels and are quite good nearing in on 100 as well, and they are really fun to play up to that point. As for build variety, they have some of that, but only for their main abilities, as generally they'll be using the same defensive setup just to keep themselves alive, which isn't the greatest options wise for their endgame prowess. Their endgame playstyle also requires you to have some good rotations and timing to execute your builds efficiently, so adding that difficulty onto what I already consider at this point the weakest class is not such a great combination for them. But hopefully the changes Blizzard makes to the class will bring them up to their former glory. And also, since I didn't mention, they are insanely squishy as well. So be prepared to invulnerable anything, as bullet hell will get you if you don't. The Season 1 meta builds for leveling your sorcerer include Chain Lightning, Firewall, and Ice Shard builds. And as for endgame, you have the Blizzard, Ice Shards, or Firewall builds to choose from. There are a few others, but I would say that these are the main three at the moment. So that about wraps up the Season 1 tier list. Thanks for watching everyone, here's a summary of the rankings. I doubt this is going to change too much outside of any insane patches, hot fixes, or unintended malignant heart interactions. I hope this helps in giving you a bit of easy to understand information if you're coming into the season, and deciding which class you'd want to play, or if you're just choosing another character to create. Leave a comment down below with your 1 to 5 rankings if you'd like, I would love to know, or with any suggestions for future videos. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!